guys welcome to another video welcome 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 so yeah if you're new here my name is jackie aka fabulous j fabulous <laughs> my if you're my favorite sister from another mother welcome back <laughs> love you to the moon and back yes guys it's thursday you know actually what what's today it's friday yeah, duh, I lost a day. But anywho, it was Thursday yesterday. It was Goodwill Dollar Ninety Nine Day. Yes. Oh, my bad. If you want to know what this channel is all about, we're all about fabulosity. We're all about looking fabulous. We're not breaking the bank because we do know better. We take the low, the middle, and make it look fabulous, like we spent a million dollars. Meanwhile, we spent maybe a dime or a nickel. <laughs> no millions here. Yep, that's how it is. We we do not discriminate when we shop. We thrift. We go to discount stores. And we go to the showrooms. But never, ever, ever are we ever going to a department store. We ain't going to Nostrum Nostrum. We ain't going to Saks Fifth. We ain't go to Neiman's. We ain't going to Buck Down. We're not doing all that. We might go to the outlets. Yeah. Because we're smart shoppers. The markups, guys. If you've ever been a buyer in your life, the markups of the merchandise that you buy in the department store is 100%. Okay. Let's say they bought the shoe. Let's say they bought the shoe for $5. How much do you think they're going to sell it to you for? Take a guess. Five dollars. They'll probably sell it to you for eighty-nine dollars. And then that's how they afford. That's how they can afford to mark stuff down all the way to nothing because they already got their profit. So what do they care? They can mark it down to two dollars. They don't give it two hoots. But anyway, enough of my shenanigans. I digress. Today is a day to show you the stuff that I got from Goodwill and American Way. And this is not a pre-sale. This is stuff that Jackie bought for herself. Yes. This week is all about me. Okay. <laughs> Next week, it will be all about you guys. But this week is all about me. So let me share my little findings. And if it, maybe it can influence you to go thrift. Not everything Jackie shows is for sale. Get it together, people. I just thrift and shop because that's what I like to do. Hi, my name is Jackie. I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> I own it. All right, guys. So, you know, I I shop anywhere my little heart desires, apart from the major stores. Yeah, I might go to Neiman's and Saks and catch a sale here and there, but it got to be a sale. I ain't paying retail because I know how much it costs Okay, used to own my boutique, so I know the markups. So, I know. Used to be a specialist, I know the markups. But anyway, enough of me talking. Let me show you what I found for myself. Myself. Maybe this will make you want to get up and go thrift. There are no links. It's just a thrifting bug. So, Thursday was $1.99 at Goodwill. And I, you guys... I went shopping and I found a few items. I didn't find that much stuff for dollar ninety nine, but it's okay. Cause not everything gotta be dollar ninety nine. So what I found for more is this beautiful size chain dress. I tried it on. Brand new with tags from J Crew. Oh, cool. J Crew. What's the J Crew price on this dress? Well, they don't have a price, but do you see this dress? Do you say, well, oh, gorgeous. Let me stand up so we get to see. Let me move the chair. Uh-oh. I dropped the chair. Can you all imagine? <laughs> Hold on. So as the chair fell, I was about to show you this beautiful J. Crew dress. Gorgeous. Yes. Okay, guys. 
in case you were wondering like where the hell is she now i'm downstairs in the hallway leading to the garage didn't feel like going to the guest bedroom because i have limited space so i made this little entrance my little spot so that's where we are beautiful j crew dress i stand look at that this dress is brand new and i was able to get it for there was no sale on this it's okay eight dollars and 99 but you know if you go to j crew you probably pay like a dollar 90 i mean a dollar 198 dollars for this beautiful it's size 10. I'm gonna style it one day and you guys are gonna see it. But for today, I'm just gonna show you. The next item I found is this beautiful skirt. You guys know wrap skirt is in, it's always in in the fall. And this is from Eddie Bauer. Now this was a dollar ninety nine. It had a red tag was dollar ninety nine. White white tag was twenty five percent off. So Eddie Bauer wrap skirt. This would look so good with some boots on. Yeah, am I styling this? No, I'm not. Is it a styling video? No, it's not. It's just a show and tell. This is from, oh, I thought it was a wrap. Oh, it was a fake wrap. Aha. Uh -huh. So, but anyway, this would look good with a white button down main shirt and then kind of put one of those designer belts or your duke belts. And voila, you have a beautiful look. And all you paid was $1.99. Make it make sense. Yes. A dollar ninety nine, guys, for Eddie Bauer. I don't know how much the retail for Eddie Bauer usually is, cause I don't shop at Eddie Bauer, but I know it's not cheap. Not that preppy to be shopping at Eddie Bauer. Nah. Oh, there was something here, but this is not. This is gonna go to the live sale. I said I wasn't doing live sale. But this beautiful brocade jacket is from ASOS. So cute. Doesn't fit me, so no, no need to show you that. No need, no need, no need. The next item, you guys know how I feel about button-down shirt from the men's department. Because I can do wonders with this. Beautiful. A little wrinkle. But Look at the texture of this white shirt. I would never pass a white shirt. For this time, they want $6.99 for it, which is cool. I took it. Beautiful. So one of these days, we'll do a styling haul for these items. But today, it's just a show and tell. So if I don't try it on, don't go like, oh my gosh, I can try it on. Today is not a day. But we are going to do a styling haul. I'm going to style this beautiful shirt with something. Ah, I'm going to take the high and the low and the middle and make it look fabulous. You can always just want this with white shirt. Beautiful. Once more. I'm going to take off my shoes because it's making me too tall. I got this um, beautiful plaid men's blazer. I think somebody put it in the women's department, but this was in the, this is men's. This is by Manny, Manny by Giorgio Armani. Made in Italy. You guys know Manny is made by Giorgio. In case you didn't know, now you know. Manny by Giorgio Armani, beautiful, little wrinkly. Made in Italy and um, from Neiman Marcus. Did we go to Neiman's? <laughs> no, we didn't. Where we found it at the thrift store, Neiman Marcus. And this is Design Collections. Oh my God, how cute is this? 
trying to tell you. You ain't go to Neiman's to buy this. If you go to Neiman's, you go pay an hour and a leg. Okay? You're not gonna pay what Jackie paid. Oh, I did not pay that much for this. What was I sniffing? $16.99. Wait a minute. I don't ever pay this much for a luxury men's blazer. But I guess I didn't look at the price. I just saw money and I picked it up. What? What? But anywho, look at me being cheap. This blazer probably cost $1,900 or $2,000 from Neiman Marcus. And I pay $16 and I'm venting. Sheesh. See how that fits me? This is cute. This is my size. I love the plaid wool. So, yeah. I can style this with so many things. It actually didn't go so well with what I have on. I got my jeans. I have my mules. I have my beautiful shirt. I got my fendi to felt. And then we have the money blazer. So cute. If you all believe this, I did not bring it back down here because it's not a styling haul. This is just me showing you what I got from Goodwill. All right. And then I will show you. I have two pieces there resistant. One from American Way. Actually, three. And two from Goodwill. Yeah. So that's that for Goodwill. Well, no. There's something here that this is gonna go on the sale pile, so I'm not gonna show you that. That was not for Jackie, but just to show you that it was two dollars. It's a tweed jacket from Talbot. It was in the bag. I forgot to take it away. Size eight. Who knows? I might wear it. I might. Now we love our tweets. We pay two dollars. It has all the buttons. Classy. Cute. I think this is the only stuff. I think American Way is the one that I bought stuff for sale. But I probably either I'll keep this or I'll put it in the sale pile. I'm not sure. Not sure. Now, one thing I found in the men's department, but I know it's not men's because it fits me very well. And this is by, who is this again? I can see. I don't got my glasses here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have some. I have glasses. Let me see. This is genuine leather. And this is by Kathy Ireland. Oh, this is by Kathy Ireland. So it, why it was in the men's department, I don't know. It's a size medium. Heavy duty, 100% leather. Beautiful. And this was $12.99. So heavy. Yes. And I'll be trying to sell you guys men's, I mean, blazers and stuff, but this right here is what Jackie is keeping. Gorgeous for $12, size medium. It fits me, it has gorgeous. I hope you guys can see me. I feel like my light is a little blurry. That's what I'm feeling. So, yeah. So cute in the pockets. Twelve ninety nine, guys. So heavy, hundred percent genuine leather. Look at the lining, quilted lining. Almost look like a Chanel quilt. So and then we even have the extra button on here. What does it say? Professional leather cleaner. 100 percent yes so heavy Ooh, this is heavy duty 
and I love it. So, all right. Those items, plus my two piece the resistance I got from Goodwill. So, for the meantime, I wonder if I should do. Yeah, hold up. Let's finish Goodwill before. Oh, let's finish Goodwill before I do American Way. Yeah. So, what else I found in Goodwill? It's a little two piece de resistance. Let's start with those. My first one was the. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. I'm not done. I'm not done. I have something else. Something else from Goodwill. I forgot to show you. This beautiful shoe, brand new with tags from Nostrum's Rack. Sam Eldman. Beautiful shimmery sheen. Gorgeous. My size, it fits me. I believe it's a size eight. Yes, it still has the Nostrum's tag, Nostrum's Rack tag on there. It was $69.99 at Nostrum's Rack. Original price $200. $34. Then it got mad that it went to it went to the rack for $69.99. I don't know if you ever see that right there. But that's the original price on the bottom. Beautiful. And I got this at the wheel for ten dollars. Let me see that. Gorgeous. The holidays are coming. Let's try this baby. is the first thing I found when I walked in before I went to the handbag section. You gotta pass shoes in this particular Goodwill before you get to handbags. So, let me show you guys this shoe. Aha. Uh -huh. Dress it up or dress it down. Either way, it's gonna be fabulous. So they are so comfortable. Some elderman. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Shoo, shoo, shoo. So I only went to one Goodwill. Usually I go to like two or three, but this time I just went to one because I know I wasn't doing no live sale, nothing like that. So. The next item I found is a little luxury. Nice little luxury piece. Didn't have a price, but the young man was nice enough to give it to me for nothing. I mean, I actually found this in a bag. I was looking at a bag and I opened it and this was there with no, no price tag. Then they had a Hello Kitty wallet and I didn't want that, so I chucked it away. But then I took this Just Cavalli reading glasses made in Italy. The good thing is, it's my strength. I'm like, what are the odds? This is my strength. Just Cavalli by Roberto Cavalli. Do we see that? Yes. It's my strength, so now I can use it to read to you guys and be looking mighty fly. Even though my eyelashes are kind of touching. My eyelashes are too long, but still cute. Purple. Just Cavalli. Oof. Eyelashes, not so, no going on. All right. The next thing I found after I left the shoe section, after I got in my Sam Elderman shoes, I'm moving on to the women's. What did I find? A Celine luggage bag. Not the nano, but the medium. So it has a Celine. This look like it's been in water because I will tell you exactly why. It has the Celine label right here, but if you can see, it's imprinted in there a little bit. 
but it's, it came off because it looked like this bag was cut up in some kind of water. The reason being is I will show you the inside. You can see the saline made in Paris right there. It has the authenticity code that is way down on the bottom and you see it's peeling. It looked like it got wet. Even the young man said, yeah, it looked like it got caught in water. There we go. So this bag is 100% authentic. It has the code, but you can barely get to it. All the markings are there. Beautiful, very well made. The leather is yummy as i go on and on about this bag i paid eleven dollars just there just sitting there waiting for more it's like huh what just sitting there waiting for me to come through just waiting for jackie like who does that where gorgeous so let me put something in there i need to dry it out because it's still kind of wet because when i got it i was like why does this feel wet and the young man said i think it got caught up in some kind of water i'm like okay so here we are still gonna rock it this is for Jackie, not for sale, so don't ask. This haul is all about what Jackie is keeping, not what Jackie is going to give to you guys. And do not get mad because, guys, it comes on these bags. Oh, they are, it runs all the way from 3300 I think the cheapest one I found was fifteen, or was it even fifteen? Two thousand. So... I can't. Um, if you have 2000 and you want to buy it from me, how about you go? But other than that, it's not what Jackie wants to sell. I used to own this bag, but when I got broken into, mine was taken. So that's my replacement. So be respectful that I'm going to keep it. That's cool. All right. So I think that's what we got from Goodwill. Let's move on to American Way. The American Way, I think I have. I have one luxury piece with American Way. The first item I got from American Way, hold on. It's this beautiful cardigan as I'm looking for my hanger, which I don't know what I do with it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Hold on, guys. I had a hanger here, but now I don't see it. But anywho, I got this beautiful sweater. Gorgeous. Long sweater from American Way. I love, love, love. I got to find that hanger. What the hell? Put the hand though. Oh, the hand just disappeared. Don't know. Well, anywho, oh, there it is. Duh, Jackie. You put it at the door. Sorry, guys. Little discomfort of a lady over there. So, this beautiful short sleeve cardigan, long cardigan, gorgeous. Doesn't have a name, or if it did, they cut it off. Was $6.99. I don't see a name, but look at the knit. You see that? So oh, beautiful, gorgeous. I must say so myself. It's like, huh? $6.99. It's 
So this will look good with something, anything long sleeve. Yes. Gorgeous, guys. Do we see that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love, I love what it's giving. So yeah, I might even wear this this weekend. I might, I'm not sure. Yeah. It depends on the weather. All right. Something else I got from America way. This heavy duty jacket by Chic and Bling. Gorgeous. Now you can make this to a crop jacket if you if you choose to. So it has that part. That's the back. And then do we see the front? And then we have the zipper side. Very heavy duty. Beautiful. Chic and bling. Has all these buttons. Then if you look in the back, it has the other button. It's beautiful heavy duty zipper. Gorgeous. It's blinging. So. Cute. Hello. Beautiful. So now the good thing about this particular blazer is you can make it shorter by taking off that. <laughs> then you have a crop jacket. Look at that. Hello. So I can zip it all the way. Take this bottom half so it's two in one. And then rock it. Yes. Chic and bling. How much did we pay for that? Wow. So yes, so you can take that or you can bring it back. I don't know. And then you can make a um, shoot. After you cut this out, you can literally make like a little skirt on your own. Just get you one of those pins that you get from the Scottish skirts that they have and you pin it here and you do some leggings underneath and then wear this as a crop. Come on now. You ain't gotta have it connected if you don't want to, but that's only if you want to. Or you can just wear it as such. Let people know this is what we're working with. Okay? Beautiful. So, yep. Another one for moi. Another one. And how much did I pay for this again? I forgot. Chic and bling. I paid, oh, it was half. The sweater that I showed you, tag, I showed you guys the blue tag was 50% off. So I paid half. Is it 50 or 30? I forgot. It was either 50 or 30% off blue tag. I don't remember. But I did not pay $60.99. It was cheaper than that. Because you guys know I'm all about cheap. Inexpensive is my name. Thing I found. I have to get the shaver to shave this heavy duty Zara jacket. This is this is Zara. This thing weighs a ton. And then it has the belts. Zara. Right here. I think is it basic or woman? Just Zara. It was yellow tag was 30 off so yeah i remember yellow was 30 so it was 30 percent off of 16.99 this is heavy i forgot what size this is i have to look i think it's a medium i have to look at it and tell you guys but honey yeah all the buttons all large i believe because if it was a medium, Zara would not fit me as a medium. As I'm trying this on, I'm already hot. Ah, my belt, come on now. That's a beautiful belt. Look. Should I even try? I'm going to change this because it's hot. It's some kind of hot. 
that this is how this jacket is going to fit me after I do everything that I need to do. Gorgeous. Yes. Hello. 30% off of $14.99 is what I got this jacket for. So it needs to be shaved because it does have a little bit of those things, what they call them, cocoa bugs and stuff like that. And, you know, nice kind of hairy, hairy bone kind of look. Come on. My nail is not doing what it needs to do. It's not doing what it needs to do. It's a press button. I hate press buttons because they like to pop. But anyway, I got one in. And then we got the other one. So we either we wear it this way or we just open it up and they fly. Yes. Zara. Zara, Zara, Zara. Very heavy. American way. You can find a jacket. I'm sure this jacket sells at Zara for like 200 and some change. Maybe two forty nine or two ninety nine, and here we got it for. Wait a minute now, it says USA size small. How the hell? Well, oof. that's that's a big small, kind of heavy for small. this beautiful pants by French Connection. I think the Zara sweater has the lint all over it, which is fine. I'm going to take, I have a lint remover. I'm going to take it off. But the way see it has the ribbon piping, full leg, French Connection. Beautiful size eight. And we paid $2.00 and 50 cents because this was 50% off of $4.99. If you guys know French Connection pants, I love the way they fit. They fit very well, gorgeous. So yeah, I have to style this. The piping is in the back and it's in the front, I mean the ribbon. So it could be like an after five, but it's 100% cotton. Just gotta take all that length from that jacket. Because when I bought it, it didn't have this length on there. But I think that Zara jacket did it. Yes, Zara did it. I keep going in the guest bedroom is right here. So that's where everything is. So forgive me when I keep disappearing. So you'll be like, where the hell is she going? <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna go get stuff. The next item I found is another leather jacket by Banana Republic. Yes, this is spicy. But I got I grabbed it. Banana Republic. They wanted $25.99, but I got 50% off. So yay. Half of 25. Quilted. Banana Republic, I don't even know what size this is. All I know is I tried it on and it, oh, it's a size large and it fits me, so shush. And for, I think what did I feel like? $13 for this. Beautiful. It's coming off on the camera as brown, but it's actually black. Nice little crop. Banana Republic. Love the leather. It's more of a more of a cowhide, I believe. Gorgeous.
beautiful. Can you see that? Yes. <laughs> okay. $11 bag. $13 jacket. It fit a $500 bag and maybe a $299, $299 is what this jacket is going for at the Banana Republic retail price. $299. And I was able to get it for. Come on now. We were able to get it for what? $13. All right. So, let me bring the bag over here so I don't keep disappearing because we're almost there. So, these are all the stuff that I said to myself. Self, being that you're not having a life sale, go, go thrift for yourself. Not everything got to be about business. Jackie needs to shop for her. Because I've been neglecting my shopping. Then my husband said, everything you buy must you sell. So I'm like, ah, yeah. So the next item I got, half of $6.99. What? $3.50, I believe. It's by a beautiful Catherine Malandrino. Size 12 baby doll shirt. I love this kind of shirts because they loose. They look good with jeans. You can belt them and, you know, do wonders with them. It's very forgiving when you go out to eat or you can eat. Yeah, can we see that? Gorgeous. So that's that. Where's the other one? I had a little, I had a little baby doll skirt here, but, mm. all right. And then I did get this beautiful sleepers for another three dollars and fifty. Nice little old fashion. The name here is Forever. Is it Forever? No, something Springs. I don't know what that is, but I just love the full suede what caught me was the heel i'm like yes 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 nice for open toe mules if you don't if you want to let your feet be free those mules are everything the balance is really good yeah you see it? Beautiful, gorgeous. You see that? Beautiful, classy. Looks good with the jeans. I love it. They are so, so comfortable. And this too was $6.99, 50% off. So, shoot, why wouldn't I grab it? I say this is the one little skirt I was gonna show you guys I got this little high and low skirt I feel like I can style this even though I have so many of little mini skirts but I fit for two dollars it was and fifty cents I love the stretchy taffeta material you know the holidays are coming who doesn't want a little mini dress a mini skirt a mini skirt with a nice button-down shirt or a beautiful turtleneck. <laughs> yes, a turtleneck. Give you that little slim silhouette. Turtleneck. It just lets your mind wander. You have a beautiful turtleneck. Maybe not. Maybe black or another color and nice little boots not the chunky ones but the nice little long boots maybe knee length or thigh high and then you have this just imagine how beautiful this two dollar skirt will make your outfit look like you went and spent a lot of money 
Go find you a turtleneck. Go to Dee Dee's. You can find a turtleneck for five dollars. Beautiful fabric, or you can just go to H and M and get another turtleneck on sale. Don't pay full price. <laughs> yes, put that on together. Come on now. You look like you stepped out of Paris runway. Yes. Come on. Let me influence you to go thrifting. Don't spend your money trying to keep up with the Joneses. You can just be yourself. Be the Joneses. Be you. All right. What else I find for more? This. What is this thing I got? Oh. Mark Fisher, beautiful ankle boots. Not that I need any boots, but I, as soon as I was trying it on, I was in line and I saw it and this lady said, oh my God, those look good on you. So all I had to hear, I'm like, wait, how much are they? I don't know. <laughs> I think the only reason, I mean, the Mark Fisher is leather, soft, yummy leather. And it was um, half of, $10.99, so it was like $5 for my Fisher boots. Beautiful. And she says, you should get that. <laughs> I almost want to say, are you going to buy it for me? <laughs> you know how people love to tell you what you need to get. Do they know how much money you want to spend? Yeah, I was like, come on now. You should. Oh, I, I wish I could wear some heels. I'm like, okay, lady, I'm going to get it. Stop talking. She'll be behind me going on and on because we were standing in line waiting and um <laughs> Mark Fisher I said yeah you can find this at Macy's yeah Mark Fisher Macy's not some track Burlington mostly Macy's full price Nostrum's track you'll find Mark Fisher on sale maybe even Nostrum's not the designer section Let's put this down so you guys get to see it. They are comfortable. Yes. Good running around. Five dollars for all leather boots. It's even more cheaper than the, the fashion ones, the dupes we get at um, Burlington. It does a, I mean, not Burlington. This those are brand new, those are early show. But this is the middle. This is not a lot. My fisher is the middle. So yeah. Cute. Cinco dinero. Five dollars. So I was happy about that part. I was gonna sit in my closet. <laughs> I'll probably wear, I'll leave it in this down downstairs um, closet that's where most of my outer boots are so when i'm walking out the door they don't make it upstairs oh shoot what's that oh okay all right now those boots i don't know they look like the leather is kind of peeling on the inside but so yeah i got those and then um and then move it over here because it just makes a mess. The next thing I got is another pair of shoes. This is by Couture, Donna J. Planner. Couture, baby. Couture, not regular Donna J. Planner. This is the Couture. Do we see that? Donna J. Planner Couture. Beautiful. Kitten heel, pointy toe. Yes, the back right there, metallic purple, and uh, made in Italy. Made in the mountains of Italy. They told you, not in the city, but in the mountains of Italy. Did we see this Donna J. Planner shoe? I've always loved their shoe. I have a couple of Donna J. Planner, but not the Couture. Just regular. I have the riding shoe. Or is it driving shoe? 
then I have just regular fat. To find the couture version, why not? And it's a size eight. What are the odds? Yes. So this is my little mini luxury shoe. I'm a jet planner. It's, I would say it's designer, but this is the couture line. So I will call it a mini luxury. And if you differ, that's on you. But here we go. Cute. I don't know about kitten heels, man. Oh, please guys, excuse my floor. It's like I really got a mop it. So there is, I have a runner that goes through here. So I just pushed the runner on the side and I didn't realize that. Ah, I needed to, but who cares? My house. Anywho, so here we go. Cute. Beautiful. Yes. How much did I pay for this shoe? How much did I pay? Let's see. I forgot how much I paid. Twelve half of twelve ninety nine. So I paid six dollars and fifty cents for a couture Donna J Planner shoe. Couture. Okay. I don't even think this was ever used. I don't think so. I think it was tried on somewhere because it's still the heels are just clean i don't see nowhere and tear right there so cute mm -hmm. made in the mountains of italy mountains <laughs> all right okay 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 last but not the least my piece the resistor that was behind the case of the American way. <sighs> what is this? What it was a little pricey. It wasn't cheap, but I was still pulling the trigger. It's Gianni Versace. Beautiful. Evening pump for the soir. Look at the hill. Gianni Versace. Look at the Medusa head back there. So we see that shoe. Now y'all going to see the price. I didn't pay this price, guys, so don't judge me. It says $60.99, but it was 30% off. So I got it for $40. So less than 100 for a Versace. Versace, Versace, Versace. A Versace shoe with a Medusa head. Back there. Yay. See that? Do we see the heel? That's why I love the shoe. I don't too much care for the little beads in the front. They're okay. But um, it has like a Medusa design, um, a Versace design right here. The little beads. But what got me is the heel. What size are this? They are size 39, which is really more like an eight or eight and a half. Some people say 39s are nines, they're not. Trust and believe, nine and a, 39 and a half. Oh, see? I'm gonna put it on. It they fit me, that's all that matters. Whether it's a nine or eight, they fit me, they're 39s. Most Italian shoes, I would take a 39. Uh, you guys remember my little Versace evening bag that I, I thrifted? Can you imagine? I'm going to be carrying that bag and wearing this. Okay, move over. Wearing this beautiful Versace shoe. Yes. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So, yeah. That's that. Excuse my floor. Something just fell on my floor. I think it came out of that Mark Fisher shoe, like little leather peelings on the inside. I'm looking at my floor. I'm like, what is that? Yeah. I'm like, oh. But yes, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
has my piece de resistance for forty dollars. A Gianni Versace shoe with a Medusa head like that. It's like oh yummy yum. So this I got two good pieces, two luxury items that I thrifted for more. We got the shoe. We got the bag. And then we got the Cavalli. We got the Cavalli glasses. Don't know what I did with it. And then a mini luxury. We have a Sam Elderman. Yes. So it was a good thrifting day if I may say so myself. And honestly, I've come to the realization that if I leave the house to say I'm going thrifting, I don't usually find good stuff. Then when I'm out there and I say, oh, you know what? I'm out here. Let me just go thrift. That's when I find some stuff. I mean, do you guys feel the same way? But then when I walk in, I say to myself, okay, I made this trip over here. Let me manifest something good. And when you manifest something good, voila, it happens. And this little gorgeous little stretchy cardigan i had thrifted this too from goodwill a while back i never got to wear it i was looking at my stuff and i saw it still had a tag i think it was 9.99 but you will see the buttons almost giving me that chanel vibe a little croppy very stretchy i could button it if i want to but it's very bouncy i was like no no button here i'm just gonna let it fly still has all the beautiful buttons right there I love the neck color. It's like, yes. It's like Chanel from Goodwill. <laughs> I'm like, Jackie, you crazy. I could be. I don't know. It is boobies of mine. I just want to see if I could button this because when I was upstairs trying to put it on, the sleeves were like, huh? What, what you doing? <laughs> I'm like, what you mean? Uh oh, why is this one keeps popping? Listen, we're gonna put this on. Stay put. I wanna see how it looks closed. I wanna see. This is like a vintage. I think the name is like Chic. Chic something? I forgot what it said. Is it Chic Me? So it's not vintage if it's Chic Me. Dude, are we seeing how this is coming together? Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Can you imagine if I had this under over a white button down shirt? And I don't know if that would ever happen because the sleeves are so faded. So I don't know how a button down shirt is going to go through the sleeves. But. Maybe something without a sleeve that flares, <clears throat> flares on the bottom. <clears throat> this. Oh, I did not know this can do that. See, not no, but look at that. Still has all the buttons. Yeah, I thrifted this little thing for nine dollars at Goodwill. Hello. Cute. So that's my beautiful haul. I'm wearing this little cardigan. Then inside I have this little blingy um, shirt. I have picked this at a um, LA showroom, but I think I've seen something like this. I have picked it from some little vendor at LA showroom, but I have seen something similar like this. I think maybe at uh, um, was what store did I say this? Was this Ross or, or Burlington? But this cute little number, look, if you love shoes, look at the bling. So I kind of put it to match my shoe right there. So cute. So then I got my Fendi to belt. And then I got my beautiful jeans. These are by um, Blue, Blue Turtle. Yeah, they almost look like the diesel jeans. Gorgeous. I think I got this at Ross. Ross? 
Ross or Marshalls, I don't remember. But yeah, this is my first time wearing them. They call blue turtle. And then on my feet, I have my Nina Palo. You guys probably have seen this before. Believe you me, I've had these mules. I think I've only used it for styling hall. It still has a tag. Why? Why? I thought I wore this already. Apparently not. I had gotten this at Burlington last year or two years ago. Never worn them. Can you imagine? That's what happens when you have too much shit. Not too much stuff. So that's what I'm wearing, my meals. This is how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pick up Remy today. Even though I'm not doing a live sale, he still wants to come home. I'm like, you can stay. He was like, no, mom, I want to come home. Because he wants us to go watch um, Black Adam. Yeah. So if you've never watched Woman King, you better go watch it. That's a bum ass movie. Okay. Girl power. Woman King is everything. Woman King is everything. Thank you, Claudia, for making me to go watch it. It was Usually, I'll be doing my own thing in the movie. Sometimes, I'll be just doze off or be on my phone. But this movie caught my attention from the beginning to the end. So, go watch Woman King, guys. It's like Viola Davis. She can, she needs an award. She really does. Because she, she acted that movie like... She acted like she was straight out of from Africa. I was like, go, oh, girl. She had the accent and everything. But anyway... So this weekend, after my Saturday outing, maybe on Sunday, we're going to go watch Black Adam. I'm not a fan of The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. I'm not a fan. <laughs> really not. Because he don't embrace his black side. But anyway, I'm still going to go watch it because my, the, my son, Remy, loves The Rock. Yeah, so i just going to go just because. But anyway... I'll see you guys. I hope you like this haul. Not to be controversial, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the rock. Not at all. It was okay when he was younger, when he first started, he embraced his black side. Then when he started making it big, he think he's, oh, I can play any role. Where you think your dad came from? But anyway, enough already. The rock fans, don't come for me, because I don't care. Don't. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Love, peace, love, happiness. Subscribe. And I will miss you guys tomorrow. But I'll be thinking about you guys while I'm out there having my little fun. I'll be like, oh, I'm missing my sisters from another mother. But I'll see y'all next week. Yay. So, just to hold you over, you can watch my haul. Where are you going, Simba? Where exactly are you going? My dog trying to creep over here. He's like... I see you in the hallway. You're not in the family room. You're not in the guest bedroom. So I'm coming. But anyway, guys, like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when your girl uploads. Yes. Oh, I was going to. The reason I took this off is because I wanted to show you. Oh, no, this wasn't Chic Me. This is by Cedar. Cedar. Never heard of it before. So it looks vintage. The buttons look vintage, though. Love it to pieces. But anyway, very stretchy. It almost looked like a St. John. When I saw it, I thought it was a St. John piece because it has that St. John stretchiness. So I'm never stopping. That's how much I love you guys. Oh, my little Louis Vuitton Twilly. I forgot I had that on because my neck was so bare. I know I didn't need to wear anything because this was doing what it does as I'm undressing in front of you guys. Love you. Mm -mm -mm. Love, peace, happiness. See you next week. Have a blessed day. Bless, bless, and happy weekend. I'll miss you guys, OMG. But I'll see you next week. Aku. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Kiss. Au revoir.